Six days ago, Russia's Vladimir Putin sought to shake the very foundations of the free world, thinking he could make it bend to his menacing ways. But he badly miscalculated. He thought he could roll into Ukraine and the world would roll over. Instead, he met with a wall of strength he never anticipated or imagined. He met the Ukrainian people. From President Zelensky to, their, to every Ukrainian, their fearlessness, their courage, their determination literally inspires the world. Groups of citizens blocking tanks with their bodies, everyone from students to retirees to teachers, turned soldiers defending their homeland. And in this struggle, President Zelensky said in his speech to the European Parliament, Light will win over darkness. The Ukrainian ambassador to the United States is here tonight, sitting with the First Lady. Let each of us, if you're able to stand, stand and send an unmistakable signal to the world of Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Putin's latest attack on Ukraine was premeditated and totally unprovoked. He rejected repeated, repeated efforts at diplomacy. He thought the West and NATO wouldn't respond. He thought he could divide us at home, in this chamber, in this nation. He thought he could divide us in Europe as well. But Putin was wrong. We are ready. We are united, and that's what we did. We stayed united. And now, now that he's acted, the three free world is holding him accountable, along with 27 members of the European Union, including France, Germany, Italy, as well as countries like the United Kingdom, Canada, Japan, Korea, Australia, New Zealand, and many others, even Switzerland, are inflicting pain on Russia and supporting the people of Ukraine. Putin is now isolated from the world more than he has ever been. Tonight, I say to the Russian oligarchs and the corrupt leaders, who built billions of dollars off this violent regime, no more. The United States Department of Justice is assembling a dedicated task force to go after the crimes of the Russian oligarchs. We're joining with European allies to find and seize their yachts, their luxury apartments, their private jets. We're coming for you, ill-begotten gains. And tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights, further isolating Russia and adding additional squeeze on their economy. He has no idea what's coming. Together with our allies, we're providing support to the Ukrainians in their fight for freedom. Military assistance, economic assistance, humanitarian assistance, we're giving more than a billion dollars of direct assistance to Ukraine, and we'll continue to aid the Ukrainian people as they defend their country and help ease their suffering. But let me be clear. Our forces are not engaged and will not engage in the conflict with Russian forces in Ukraine. Our forces are not going to Europe to fight Ukraine, but to defend our NATO allies in the event that Putin decides to keep moving west. For that purpose, we have mobilized American ground forces, air squadrons, ship deployments to protect NATO countries, including Poland, Romania, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. And as I've made crystal clear, the United States and our allies will defend every inch of territory that is NATO territory with the full force of our collective power. Every single inch. <laughs>